Sometimes we develop limiting beliefs about the whole world, right? The world is, what is that for you? The world is what? And we're basically talking about the social world, right? We're generalizing the world into the social world there. And um, these are beliefs that we have, right? They're not they're not objectively true. They are beliefs that are often limiting us, right? They are holding us back in some way. And because they're holding us back, because these beliefs don't serve us, then um, they are, we call them limiting beliefs. And it's not that we can, it's not that we're, we're deceiving ourselves by by changing a limiting belief into a into a an empowering belief it's not that oh well now we're just lying to ourselves no you're already lying to yourself <laughs> a limiting belief is a belief that you've developed and it's just a model of the world it is not the whole world have you ever heard the um the the saying this a famous Famous, who was it who said it first? I forget now. But the map is not the territory. It wasn't Richard Bandler. There was someone before Richard Bandler who originally wrote it. But anyway, the map is not the territory. It means that uh, the reality, the, the reality of what the world is, is very different <laughs> from the map we've created in our minds. Right? The map is a set of beliefs um, based on the evidence that we've selected, we've cherry-picked this evidence, right? So you can choose which evidence to focus on, and that will create your belief that you live by, that you act upon. And so uh, if your actions are limited because of your beliefs, then that belief doesn't serve you. So let's have a look at some of the beliefs about the world. And by the way, you can watch my, I highly recommend that you watch my video on how to change your limiting beliefs, because I'm going to list some common beliefs about the world now, but watch that video to find out how you can actually shift those beliefs. And it is possible, I promise you. So number one is the world is cruel right? The world is a cruel place. And this is a belief that um, does damage because you start to see the world, you start to only see the cruelty in the world and not the love. You start to see uh, the world through this lens of, of um, people, people are out for themselves, right? People will do anything to you to get what they want the word the world is cruel well if you believe that you become a very cynical person and if someone tries to help you you'll probably think well you know that person they were just trying to uh they were out to get something for themselves right but mo but people are cruel right that's that's the belief that some people carry with them on some level and um, it's very damaging the next one is that the world is a dangerous place now the world is a dangerous place in some places right and a lot of places are dangerous but uh, a lot of places are also very safe it's not that the whole world is a dangerous place with lots of criminals running around right there's a lot of communities in the world where people are are kind and generous and friendly and loving and trustworthy, right? So to generalize like that and say that the world is a, a dangerous place, you're doing yourself a lot of injustice because you are preventing yourself from going and exploring other places and trusting in the goodness of people. The next one, the world is is out to get me, right? This is a little different from the previous two. 
So it's not just a repeat here, it's that the world is out to get me personally, right? The world has a vendetta against me, right? The whole Murphy's Law thing, everything that goes, that could go wrong, does go wrong for me, right? The world is out to get me. This is a belief uh, about yourself, but also about you, the world. And it's damaging because you won't, um, you'll have a lack of trust in other people again, and you won't, you won't take certain risks, right? You won't take certain leaps because you'll think, well, the, but the world is out to get me. <laughs> the next one, the world is falling apart, right? You turn on the news. Have you ever heard, seen someone turn on the news, watch the news for a few minutes, and then they'll be like, the world is, the world is falling apart, right? The world is ending, <laughs> right? Um, this belief is, uh, will also cause you a lot of, uh, unnecessary negativity, right? The world is, uh, maybe changing in negative ways in some aspects, but in a lot of ways, the world is, is growing. The world is getting better, right? The world is crazy. The world is crazy. Uh, this is a common one to believe if you think um, that, you know, your, your opinions and your viewpoints are always correct, right? But the whole, the rest of the world, oh, they, they disagree with me about this thing. The world is crazy, you know, <laughs> you know, outside people, people have voted this way. Uh, the majority of people think what? The world is crazy, right? I'm right. I'm right. The world is crazy. And if you think that, then you're going to close yourself off to exploring new opinions. You're going to close yourself off to exploring uh, changes in society, right? In a, a lot of things, you're going to close yourself off, build a barrier between yourself and the world. You're going to be in a bubble and... Uh, it's better to burst that bubble once in a while. The next one, the world is not worth living in. This is definitely one that can cause a lot of suffering for people. It can cause depression. Uh, if you, if you see the world as a bad place and that, you know, the world is not for me, the world is not worth living in. This is a belief that goes that very easily slides deeper under the surface and can cause some real problems under there. And you don't want to, you don't want to have that belief because, um, uh, it, for obvious reasons, right? So question that Qu with all these beliefs, question them and see if you can substitute them with other evidence. What's the evidence? What is the evidence of your belief? And can you come up with new evidence? And the final one is uh, the world is too small or the world is too big, right? I've got a double one here. The world is too small. The world is too big. Uh, in this case, you're probably thinking and focusing on one particular thing, one aspect, maybe uh, with the world is too big, it might be connected with money, right? So uh, there's not enough, there's not enough money in the world for me, right? The world is too big and there's not enough money to go around. This is a belief that people can sometimes have. You can watch my belief on limiting beliefs on money. Um, the world is too small. I can feel like, you know, you can't get away. <laughs> but the point, whatever has caused this one, the world is too big, the world is too small. The point is that you can, this, this is a judgment call, right? This is a matter of perspective. You can see the world as huge when you want, and you can see the world as, as small when you want. This is a case of perspective right? Uh, the world is very small when you compare it with the sun <laughs> or with even Jupiter. 
the world is huge when you compare it with um, a cat, you know? <laughs> you know, it's, it's a matter of perspective. And uh, question that perspective. That's the point of these limiting beliefs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it on social media so that it can help other people as well. And if you want more videos like this, click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I post new videos. I also have a podcast called Identity Coaching with Movies, where I use movies as coaching tools for your personal development. You can find my podcast on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, or directly on my website, gabrielshawnwallace.com. I have a link to my website in the description below, and on it you can read my blog, you can learn more about identity coaching and creativity coaching, and if you're interested in getting one-to-one -one coaching with me, or you know someone else who is, then you can learn more about it there and contact me via the website. You can also take a look at my creativity course, my 18 our creativity course that will help you to access your inner creator and skyrocket your creativity and innovation so that you can apply it in any project in your life, including, my friend, the grandest project of them all, yourself. You can find that creativity course on my website or directly in the description below. There's a link. Okay, my friend, keep growing into you.